What's up everybody? This is uh, going to be my new vlog channel, so you'll be seeing some more vlog type videos here. But uh, if you follow me on Instagram, Tiffany Outdoors on Instagram, you'll see pictures of this pole. <laughs> <laughs> Pow! <laughs> of the pole that we made <laughs> in, uh, at the uh, Wildlife Center. So they have like a lot of programs and I just recently found out about this this year. We went to a cooking event there and learned some outdoor cooking and things like that. And um, they have like all kinds of programs there. So they had one here building your own fishing rod and I never knew what went into making a fishing rod. I mean we started out with just a blank pole with nothing on it. We added the handles, we added the little reel holder here, hook holder, all of the eyelets on there. I was just, I was absolutely amazed all the work that went into making these. But um, yeah, I got, let's see, I got my eyes just about all lined up. There, there's a couple that are slightly off, but I mean, it was my first time, so Joe and I, are going to go fishing tomorrow so stay tuned for that video <laughs> and uh, we're gonna put our reels on yes so let's go do that yes all right so I went out and got these little Zebco uh, what is this the micro 33 so what I did was Walmart sells these for like $18 and some change or $15 or $16, something right. like that. They were $16 and change. $16 and some change. So I went over to Academy Sports, boom, they had the same exact one. So at Academy Sports, all you have to do is take a picture of the item, they'll match the price and give you a 5% discount. So that's exactly what I did. So you guys know how I love to shop for some deals. These were not on sale, but I did get a five uh, price match plus a 5% discount. So that was pretty good. I was very happy about that. So we're going to put our rods together. Yes. string. Now I'm pulling it way down here. I'm just not going to let go of mine. That's all there is to that. <laughs> I'll pull it all the way down. You pulled it all the way? Yeah. I probably should do that because it, it just undid itself so easily. Yeah. Just pull it all the way down. Boom. Done. There we go. Yeah. All right. So now to put on hooks and what kind of hooks what kind of well stuff we're going to um what i call that lake was it morgan i have to check my phone to see where it was i said we were going tomorrow and i think they had um they had bass mm -hmm. i'm pretty sure they had catfish and crappie 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 <laughs> I'm trying not to call it crappy. Crappy. <laughs> that crappy. 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 Um, I don't know. We've got hooks for everything. I, yeah. I think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go for bass and see what happens. I like that idea. So we're gonna string these up for bass. Whatever that means. We're using bass hooks. Oh. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get our tackle bags. And you guys know I have so much tackle. I'm going to go ahead and organize that. I'm going to pull all this stuff out here, show you everything I have, and share some with Joe. And I don't um, have room. I don't have a large tackle anything. I have a your, small box. Your box is big. Oh, I have a tackle box? Yeah, so when it's in the car, hey, in the trunk. Guess what? I have a tackle box. I had no idea. I had no idea. Why is it in the trunk? 
from when we went camping last time. It just never got pulled out. It's still in the trunk. Oh, wow. Check that out. I'm going to meet my new tackle box that <laughs> I dad. All right, y'all. We're going to get our tackle boxes <laughs> and organize our stuff. Be right back. All right. I've got tons of tackle in here. Look at that. It's coming out. Come out of the bag. <laughs> I mean, just tons of it. I've got trash. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like Charlie Brown. All the kids got candy. He got a rock. <laughs> I don't understand these knots at all. Yeah, they got stuff on it. So some of these rubber baits or plastics have like wetness on it. And River thinks because I'm crinkling something that is something for her. <laughs> yes, she does. It's not for you, baby. I promise. I won't lie to you. Just can't look at it. At it fishing pole the same way anymore now that I know the work that goes in it and how right. long it takes. Yeah, wow. it took us, I mean, it may not look like a lot, but it took us every oh. bit of about five hours. Yeah. But that's with instruction. I mean, they gave us instruction and then turned us loose and let us do our own thing, but wrapping the threads around this was very time consuming. That all took this the most color, time. all this color here are all threads. All threads, and then my last, my last three, I put a hot pink to differentiate mine from hers. Yeah, because funny as it is, um, although we we picked our color stringing at two separate times, we picked the exact same color. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. Oh, that was funny. This is gonna be fun tomorrow. This is going to be fun. Well, thank you for joining us on this tackle box tack tip thing. And um, we'll see if we come home with dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.